Kelly Shaw Smith and I'm going to show you a cool way to put up some window treatments that's no so and won't break the bank. Have you ever been on Pottery Barn's website and saw the linen curtains for $200 and wished that you could have those? but don't want to spend $200? I'm fixing to show you less than $50 how to decorate your window with linen curtains and they're gonna look even better. Get painters tarps. I order mine off of Amazon and they're like $15. It's like $14.90 something. And when you get them in, you take them, throw them in the washing machine with bleach. That'll get the sizing out of them so that it makes them a lot more soft and flowy. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the hooks that I had ordered off of Amazon and we're gonna hook these up. This is already hemmed all the way around. I don't have to sew. And this curtain is gonna have like a really pretty balance at the top that I'm gonna make. But it's still no sew. So I've ordered these clips off of Amazon and for this width curtain, because it is only 24 inches wide, I'm only gonna use five on each panel so that I can have a great look. I'll explain more as I'm putting them up. Because I want them to the droop on the floor, I'm gonna hold this up here, kind of get a, an idea of where I want this folded at because these are way longer than what we need. But we want it to puddle at the floor Now, what you'll do is you'll start with the two outside ends. You'll clip one on this far side and clip one on this far side. You're gonna pull this out and then you're gonna pull up to the center and clip the center one. So now you've got those clipped. Then you'll stretch this, grab in the center and clip that one stretch this one out, grab in the center, and clip that one. Now, to make these look more balloon balancy, going to take and fold up and do another clip. Try to make sure you do the same on this side. Then we're going to do the center. But on this one, I don't want to clip these. I just want to do the centers and the ends. And then I just push them over and it makes a pretty balance. Let's go do the other side. So once you clip that side, or clip this side, clip the center, clip the center, clip the center. Then we're going to fold this up. We're going to make sure that we do it about the same as the other one. We're gonna clip here. We're gonna fold up. Clip again here. And we're gonna uh, make sure. <laughs> clip in the center. We don't clip those because we want it to have like that look. And scoot them over. Then we'll fix the bottoms so that they match. Need to mess with the top a little bit more because we want them to, to lay pretty. And 
And there you have it, linen curtains for less than $50. Another quick tip, I ordered the same painter's tarps. I cut it in half and I took and tucked the raw edge in the top. The bottom is already hemmed. The only thing that you have to sew is one place. This is one long piece and you want it one long piece. So where it's joined, I have it on the corner. I just took a sewing machine, put the two pieces together and then it goes all the way around my thing. Now, I have to say, this is a bed that nobody uses. If you had to change sheets out a lot, <laughs> this would be hard because this is just tucked up under. But you could also, to keep it from falling out if it's something that you're pulling your sheets in and out a lot, just put some safety pins around up underneath the mattress to hold this in place so it doesn't pull out. And it'll match your curtains. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on painter's tarps, how to make curtains, and even a bed skirt. Till next time.